Some of the trends we're seeing and watching in the smartphone industry right now are first, um, AI. We all live in a world right now where AI is a, a huge topic of discussion, but I think AI, we've got to break down into what I call traditional AI solutions and then the newer generative AI solutions. Traditional AI has been used already in smartphones for quite a long time. We started to see it, first of all, applied to things like voice assistants. More recently, uh, it's been applied a lot to imagery, still image capture, video capture, gaming. And that's there to use everything for noise reduction, picture quality enhancement, low light photography. So those trends are, I think, fairly well established. The trend we're watching going forward is generative AI, the new generative AI techniques, where it's really using AI to fundamentally create new content. Images from text, text from text, music from text, whatever. And that presents a whole new set of computational challenges for the devices. Generative AI um, is really not going to scale um, by just deploying it in the cloud. It needs acceleration, it needs implementation on device. And high-end smartphones are certainly going to be one of the first devices that deploy with some of these capabilities. So that's certainly a trend we're, we're watching going forward. The second trend that we're watching, and I think is very exciting in smartphones, is the emergence of new industrial design, new form factors, foldables, flip devices, etc. We're now seeing more and more OEMs launching more and more devices with these kind of a form factors. And I think we're going to see a lot more innovation in this area. We're going to see these features, these designs, you know, also sort of permeate down into lower price points as we go forward. They're not going to remain purely in the flagship tier of the market. And I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to benefit from these different form factors. And it adds sort of a new area of innovation into the, into the smartphone market. And then I think the third trend that's um, happening in smartphones right now is the conversion of 4G to 5G. If we look at the smartphone market in you know, the last year, it's about 50-50. 50, meaning half the devices sold are 5G devices, the other half are 4G devices. And those 4G devices are still selling into markets like India, Southeast Asia, Latin America, Middle East Africa, but also into markets like the US and Europe for that entry tier prepaid kind of segments of the, of the market. So now we're at the phase where we really need to start working on, you know, how do we make more cost effective? Um, how do we allow OEMs to generate more affordable devices to convert those consumers, convert those 4G users into 5G? So I think we're going to see that trend continuing this year and into the next year. We're already seeing it in India and in other markets where 5G adoption is, is, is ramping very, very heavily these days. So I think that's the, the third trend in the smartphone market that's quite interesting these days.